house. That's what for. Well, I'm afraid of getting into trouble, Larry. I mean, Mom told us we can't go. Little Red. Come on, Little Red. Wake up. It's almost time for you to go. I'm scared too, Carol. But I'm going anyway. I mean, it's not fair Little Red gets to go to all the exciting places by herself just because she's older. You think where Little Red gets to go is exciting. Well, you should see where I get to go. What did you say? Nothing. Yes, you did. No, no, kiddo. I did. Who's talking? Where are you? Right here. Right where? Here I am on Little Red's pillow. Just look very closely, and you'll see me. Greetings and salutations! Who are, Who are you? you? Good question. Funny you should ask. Maestro? They call me Timer, cause that's my name. And who I am and what I am are both the same. I am the paper of body time. And when it's time to eat a worker's news, I ring the proper time. Like when it's morning, time to arise. My morning warning buzzer opens on the eyes. The body <laughs> hungry, how can it tell? Because old timer rings that inner dinner bell. I suppose you want to know where I come from. Well, it's fantastic. My native land, it's in another world, and yet it's near at hand. What place, Timer? The country of Little Red. Gee, I got an A in geography, but I never heard of a country called Little Red Land. Ah, oh, it's really a fantastic place. Very mysterious, but it's got charm. In Little Red Land. My home sweet homium, a lovely place, although the pace is pandemonium. It's quite romantic, but in a way, it's very frantic, timing everything all day. That's why I sneak off from time to time to have myself a little fun, a short vacation in the sun. Is that a crime? Of course not, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. You say a little life lacks adventure. You say you also want to have some fun. You say you want to go along with Little Red. Tell you what I'm going to do. Timer, you still haven't told us where this country called Little Red Land is. That's right. I haven't, have I? Well, it's inside the head of Little Red, right here. You mean there's a country inside of Little Red's head? Like France or Europe? Well, something like that, kiddo, but not exactly. Wow. If there really is a country inside of my sister's head, I sure would like to see it. Not me. You wouldn't, huh? Why not? Because Carol's shy, that's why. She's afraid of new places, new people. She's afraid of everything. I can't help it. It's just that, well, sometimes I want to do certain things, but I feel afraid to do them. And why, why, why is that, my dear? Because something inside of me holds me back. I feel kind of... Mixed up. Big deal. You're not the only one whose feelings sometimes get mixed up. Mine do, too. Oh, I know. Sometimes it's very hard for a person to understand their feelings. You can say that again. I can? Good. Sometimes it's very hard for a person to understand their own feelings. Timer. Well, that's the point. I mean, so much goes on in a person's head, it can get very, very confusing. Take Little Red. You should see all the things that go on inside her head. What would I want to see that for? Well, if you get to know a little about how your sister's feelings work, you'll probably also get to know a little something about how your own feelings work. It just might help you not to be afraid of some of the things that you're afraid of now. I sure would like that. Okay, then. Tell you what I'm gonna do. For the mere price of a smile or two, I'll take you both along with me. 
along Where? with it. Inside the head of Little Red. But first, I've got to make you as small as I am. Uh-uh. I don't want to go inside Little Red's head. But even if I did, how could we be as small as you? I thought they'd never ask. Come with me! Come with me! To a microscopic wonderland that's really fun to see! Trust in me! Just in me! Tell yourselves your tiny elves the size of two apostrophes! Now with a flip of the lid, a snap of the cap, a flick of my stick, and a clickety clack, and a snap! Wow, what's happened to us? And where are we? Well, kids, how do you like being as small as me? I don't know, Timer. I'm worried. How will we ever get back to being our real size again? Little Red, get up. Hurry. Help! 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 What's happening? What's happening? Timer, help, 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 help me! Please! Ah, but the fun has just begun. So far, eh? All aboard! All aboard! For a microcosmic wonder world that's never been explored in the mind, you will find there are oceans of emotions like hidden or ignored in this labyrinth of tunnels and of caves. You're gonna meet certain creatures and their features and behavior. I'll discreetly say are strange. And yet they're charming. In fact, the only thing alarming there is me. So come with me. Come with me. And away we go. I'm just having another one of my nightmares. Timer! Timer! Here, me. I'm not scared. Timer! Timer! Oh, why did they go and leave me? I don't like being left alone. Larry knows that. Inside the world? Of Little Red's head. You mean I'm really in? Oh, my gosh. I never expected that Timer could actually. But who are you? I'm A. And I'm B. We're no little girl as choice. We help Little Red make her mind up. For every single choice I want Little Red to make, I usually want her to make another. Get up. Lie down. She should get dressed. She needs her rest up. Moving off. She's got to have some fun. You know I'm right. Oh, no, you're wrong. We fight and yet we get along. My two heads are better than one. Turn left. Go right. Go straight ahead. Back up the steps. Let's hesitate. It's like she has to run. When I'm annoyed, I'm overjoyed. But when I'm glad, I'm underjoyed. My two heads are better than one. We offer two. Of many choices. We're noisy lawyers in the courtroom. The boardroom of her head. She needs advice. 
she hates our voices. But in Dominions, our opinions, the choice is up to red. He's cute. He's not. He's kind of neat. He's got big feet. He's pulling me. You mean a skeleton. Decisions. Decisions. She has to make decisions. And though she can't envision how it's done. We ain't any better. Cause two heads are better than one. Except when pulling on a sweater. Two heads are better than one. Ain't better kicking. Two heads are better than one. Would you happen to know where Timer or my brother Larry is? Sure. See that tunnel? Go through there. No. You see that tunnel? Well, go through there. All right, hurry up, hurry up, you guys. Little Red is about to get up. My alarms are simply bursting. <laughs> I think you better go. Little Red has got to decide what color dress to wear. She's got to decide right now. As you wish. Suit yourself. Goodbye, and thanks again. Oh, we'll see you soon. We'll see you later. Little Red will wear pink. Now she'll wear red. No, she'll wear pink. Now she'll wear red. Pink. Red. Pink. Red. Timer, what is this place? Wow, Timer, is it always so dark in this part of the head? Every time I've been by. Then let's go. Why? Because, well, I don't like the dark. Makes me feel so alone, like everyone's left me, gone away. Well, everybody has those feelings, Carol. You should see little Red in the dark. <laughs> Why, she sticks her head under the pillow and pulls her blanket up all the way and... She does? So do I. Sometimes they even go to sleep with the light on. She does. <laughs> so do I. And your mom and dad? Do? Sure. Almost everybody is a little afraid of the dark. You mean almost everybody? Uh-huh. Almost everybody. After all, sometimes the dark can make you feel lonely and kind of helpless. But you know what would help? What? Tell your parents how you feel about the dark. Little Red did, and it really helped. But won't they tease me? Gee, I don't think so. Not if you show them how important it is to you. Yikes! We better zip right along. Where? To collect Larry, that's where. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Who is she? Just my sister Carol, I see. I see. Well, hello there, apple pie. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the wonderful world of Little Red's Sight Center. My name is Irving Seall, but my friends call me I See. And I'd be mighty proud, honey bun, if you'd do likewise. I See runs this place, Carol. That's right, sugar dumpling. You mean you're in charge? Of Little Red's eyes, my sweet chickadee, which are about to go into action once again. See more! Late again. Ah, uh, see more? Well, I'm sorry, I see. I guess I overslept. Ah, yes. You'll just never learn to enjoy your work. Will you, see more? Oh, I enjoy my work all right, I see. It's just I enjoy sleeping even more. <laughs> What's happening, Timer? What's all that light? It's Little Red opening her great big blue peeper.
boy's eyes are neat. I never knew a person sees so many things all at the same time. Not only do you see so many things, but each thing you see has to have a feeling added to it. Where does that happen, Timer? At the Fountains of Feeling. Come on, I'll show you. Timer, don't leave me. Play! <laughs> Come fly with me, la 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 la, up through red head with me, yaddy daddy doo doo, doo 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 doo, come fly with me, yaddy doo doo. Wow, what's that? What's what? The fantabulous fountains of feeling. But what are they, Timer? The place in Little Red's head where all her senses come to be colored. What are senses? Well, I'll let Squirter, who's known as the fastest hands in the head, tell you all about them. mean by senses, Squirter? <laughs> well, Little Red, just like you and you and everyone else, has five main senses. The sense of seeing, the sense of hearing, the sense of smelling, the sense of tasting, <laughs> and the sense of touching. How Little Red feels about a lot of what she sees, hears, smells, tastes, and touches is decided right here. <laughs> Watch! A wee bit of bitter, a nip of nice, a sprinkle of fooey, and jiggle it twice, a dabble of sticky, a dimple of yuck, two fingers of hot and a finger of ice, some blue, some yellow, no color between. I'll squeeze them together and give us some green. A drop of sour, a shower of sweet, a dribble of soft, and a smidgen of meat. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> what a good time I'm having. <laughs> some tangerine, an ounce is all of salty, some tambourine. A dram of pressure, a thimble of pleasure, a stickle of tickle, a zest of pain, a spritz of pickle, my legend to main, a trickle of tinkle, a flag of the tripe, an equal amount of yippee and yipe. Put them together and what do you got? I'm just a painter. <laughs> I don't write the plot. <laughs> wow, I never knew Little Red had all of these feelings. Everyone has all of these feelings. They just show them differently. But she doesn't get mad at people and things like I sometimes do. She doesn't, huh? <laughs> you know, there are times when Little Red gets mad at so many things, I begin to run out of angry syrup. Everyone gets mad sometimes, Carol. It's perfectly okay. But some people are afraid to show their anger. They try to hide it, but all they do is get angry at themselves. Or sometimes they make believe it's the other person who is angry. But none of that makes the feeling of anger go away. No, what does? Oh, trying to talk to the person you're mad at. Or just letting off steam. You know, running around or even drawing a picture of the person you're mad at. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you feel a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, maybe sometimes I should draw a picture of Little Red. <laughs> And maybe sometimes I should draw a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, Little Red is about to leave for Grandma's house. See you around, Squirter. See you, Timer. <laughs> Now, you be careful going to Grandma's house, Little Red. It's a long way to go all by yourself. Don't worry, Mom. Are you sure you don't want to take Larry and Carol along? I'm sure, Mom. <laughs> well, we're going we're anyway. Going anyway. <laughs> Bye, Mom. See you later. Ta-da! This is it, gang. The Central Information Center of Little Red's Head. Timer, it's always so busy here. Don't things ever get mixed up? Sure they do, sometimes. Especially if Little Red gets herself too nervous. Sometimes I get nervous. Me too. What does Little Red do when she gets nervous and mixed up? 
She stops whatever it is she's doing, takes a deep breath, and counts to ten. It usually helps calm her down. Then, quite often, the feeling of being mixed up goes away. You both should try it sometime. I think I will. Me too. Uh-oh, gotta go. Be right back. Timer, wait. Don't leave us. <laughs> Now, for our friends from outside, Little Red's Head, I proudly introduce that fantabulous group of nerves, the sensational The Big D! If you're feeling nervous, feeling sort of mixed up, well, we're at your service, gonna get you fixed up. for Larry to go off on a trip of his own. Tisk, tisk, tisk. <laughs> he didn't go off on his own, Timer. Larry's pulled in that hole by some kind of a weird old wind. The dream stream wind. The dream stream wind. He was pulled in the hole by the dream stream wind. Well, what is the dream stream wind? And where does it come from? Ah, the eternal question. The unfathomable puzzle. Where? From the palace of dreams, from the palace of dreams, from the palace of dreams, from the palace of dreams. Timer, I don't know what the palace of dreams is, but can't we just go get Larry? I'm ready to leave Little Red's head. I don't see why not, Stanley. believe I'm so uptight about walking through these woods by myself. I mean, after all, there's nothing to get excited about. Nothing's gonna happen to me, I hope. What was that? Forget it, Little Red. It was a giant nothing, I hope. I'm rattling inside and my stomach's one big square knot. Maybe I should have taken care of Mary with me. Then maybe I wouldn't be so frightened. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to startle you so. And didn't mean to startle myself so. <laughs> my name's Sheriff Bill. This here's my oldest boy, Stephen, who's my deputy when he's off from school. Right, boy? <laughs> Right, Paul? Why, say howdy to this pretty young lady here, Stefan. Hi, y'all pretty young lady, yeah? Well, what all brings you into this here neck of the woods? Well, I'm on my way to my grandma's house, bringing her this pack of goodies. What, haven't you heard about the critter who's on the loose? He's a mean and ugly-looking critter, too. Sure enough is. You shouldn't be traipsing around here all alone. It's okay, Sheriff Bill. Grandma lives just a little ways from here, in the house with the green polka dot chimney. 
polka dot chimney? Well, see, Grandma's always been a little far out. Yes, ma'am. Uh, maybe Stefan here should walk with y'all. After all, that critter could be anywhere's about. Me? Him? Oh, golly shucks, Paul. Gee, Sheriff Bill. Romantic, a hot shot of panic. <laughs> she likes him. She hates him. She's warm. She's cold. He's cute. He's weird. Too shy. Too mild. She's got those butterflies and blushes, confusing wild emotions, more than mild commotions in her heart. Wonders if she feels terrific agony or joy, or if she's gone bananas over some dumb boy. All those butterflies and blushes make her stammer and she stutters, and the grammar that she utters falls apart. She's in that awkward in between stage. That limbo known as teenage With grown-up feelings She is frightened of She's got butterflies and blushes But her adolescent crush Is very close to an emotion color But thanks anyway for your offer Okay then, see you all around sometime And take care, you hear? Is Little Red going to be okay? Gee, I hope so. Carol, Timer, am I glad to see you. I was really worried. What happened to you? I don't know. What a beautiful place, Timer. This is the Palace of Dreams. The place inside Little Red where all her thoughts are stored. You mean, like an attic where you store things? Well, something like that. Oh, hi, Diana. Carol, Larry, this is Diana, the Keeper of Dreams. Timer, are you sure we're still in my sister's head? And not on Mars or something? Hmm, let me check. Nope, we're not on Mars. Then what are those? Little Red's dream machines. Oh, well, I don't like to dream. Why not? Because a lot of my dreams are nothing but nightmares. Yeah? Well, I have nightmares, too. Maybe, but no one's nightmares are as bad as mine. <laughs> Last night, I had the wildest dream of jumping on a trampoline. I wasn't jumping high, but I was trying. And then of all the crazy things, my arms became a pair of wings. Just like a butterfly's, and I was flying. I was flying. Like an eagle. Like Jonathan Livingston Seagull. And then a blinding flash of lightning zapped across the sky. And I was falling, falling, frantically calling. My Lost last night, without another soul in sight, a million miles from any place, like on a planet lost in space. Then what was that? A flying rat? A giant bat? But all I saw were a very scary pair of eyes glaring at me. Mom! Dad! Where are you? Red, somebody come and get me! I fell down to the ground in the midst of a brambly wood. And I ran to get out of this dark, dark place. If I could. Ah, ah, ah. Ghostly moans and groans and sighs. 
and blobs and blobs of spooky stuff, like monsters playing blind men's blood. And then another path, down a ledge to the edge of a boiling brook, with something stalking, 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 two huge fingers walking, walking, walking. Then behind me, I heard something step on a twig. It was following me, and it had to be big. I tried to run faster. My feet were like lead. I was running not forward, but backward instead. Mom! Dad! Get me out of the I was so scared that I let out a scream! See, kids? A lot of people have nightmares sometimes, even grown-ups. But you can stop some nightmares from happening. How? Well, one way to help is by talking to your parents or other people you trust. You'd be surprised how much better you'll feel if you open up about some of the things that bother you. You know, Timer, once I kept having this awful nightmare. Well, one day I told my friend about it, and he told me he had the same exact nightmare. We laughed and laughed, and guess what? That nightmare almost never came back. That's right. Hmm. Maybe I should tell my friend about some of my nightmares. Yikes! We gotta go. Bye-bye, Diana. But well, what's the right timer? The Green Street wind comes and goes. Who knows when we'll be back? We've got to hurry. It's beginning to leave. Friends, the time has come when Little Red, as you are about to see, meets up with the critter, that beady-eyed critter, who's mean as he could be. Well, what are we waiting for? When's it gonna begin, you're asking so anxiously? Well, right now, my friends, right now, I say, if you will come with me. <laughs> wow! That sure was a close call. I thought we'd never catch the Dream Stream wind. <laughs> it was nothing, Timer. Don't forget, old Larry was on your side. To say nothing, a big Carol here. <laughs> <laughs> You've all heard the expression, this must be the place. Well, this is the place. Ach, du lieber Timer, mein Liebchen, it's so nice to see you again. I am Colonel Fritz von Nuran, and I am happy to make your acquaintance, whomever you might be. I'm Carol, little red sister. And I'm Larry, her brother. Her sister and her brother? Oh, what a wonderful surprise. We are related then, no? Yeah, so oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my relations. My long lost relations. Hello. I'm so happy you've come to visit. Maybe you will drink some tea with me, huh? Yeah? <laughs> uh, not now, Colonel. I think they're anxious to get home. Oh, no, Timer. I mean, well, as long as we're already here. See? They do not want to leave until they see the rest of this terrific place. No? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the things we have here. Here is where we relay the strategy that the brain formulates. Just look how smoothly everything is running. Such good order, no? Yeah, I like order, no? Yeah. Well, come in, little Red. My, my, Grandma. It's dark in here. I don't like dark. Oh, more restful on the eyes, little Red. And your place is such a mess. Oh, I've just been too tired to clean. 
little red. <laughs> and what's that noise coming from the closet? Oh, some mice, I guess, little red. What's that light mean? Hmm, that's the early warning light. Something just might be up. Let's see what's going on. Wow, Grandma. Your voice sounds strange. Oh, I... <laughs> just a little hoarse, my dear. Those nighttime drafts, you know. Little Red! Oh, watch out! Oh, 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 dear! Oh, watch out, Red! Watch out! Oh, dear. Grandma, did it ever dawn on you to buy some mouse traps? Oh, what do you know? Land sake and goodness sake. <laughs> I never even thought of that. <laughs> and how come you're wearing those giant sunglasses? There's certainly no sun in here, Grandma. Hang your paddle station! Hang your paddle station! Yeah, yeah, I understand what you want. I should carry out the orders immediately. What's going on? Why is everybody acting so weird? I think that your sister, Little Red, is in big danger. Big danger? You mean big danger? That's what I mean, kiddo. Big danger. Then you've got to help her. Ach, du lieber, meine Blitze. Ach, du lieber. What's that green light mean? That, my fine feathered friends, mean? Adelaide, put your dreams on standby. Put your dreams on standby. Who's Adeline? And what are adre, ad, ad, dry adrenal? Adrenals. They are insy teensy things in the body called glands. They give the body the extra strength and energy it needs to meet crisis situations. Adeline is in charge. Oh, hello, everybody. Hello. So, you dig my shades, huh? <laughs> well, that's too bad, kid. <laughs> Adeline, for goodness sake, fire! Adeline, my Liebchen, what's wrong with you? You want little Red to get clapped by the critter? Oh, I can see it! I can't <laughs> oh, everything seems so mixed up in here. And everyone seems so nervous. You know, sometimes I have nightmares about being chased like little babies. Oh, why don't you watch where you're going, Bumcup? Sorry, Kango, but guess what? What, stupid? Adeline is stuck. She can't fire her extra, extra strength rockets. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What can we do? We are in some stew now, no? Yeah. Yeah, but we can't let little Red get caught by that critter, yeah? No. Yeah. I mean, no. Oh, what can we do? I'm so nervous, so afraid. Timer, Colonel, calm down. Do what you told me to do. Take a deep breath and count to ten. It'll calm you down and make you less nervous. That way you'll be able to think more clearly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, nein, ten. Calm. Calm. Well, now that everyone's calm, what do we do? I don't know what you can do, but I know what I can do. Well, how do you like them, Scoodles? <laughs>
shouting in here, yeah, little red. Yup, thought we heard shouting in here, yeah, little red. Well, <laughs> I'll be a goose at Christmas if it isn't. <laughs> Little Red's okay. If you're feeling happy, and you understand your feelings, then you've learned a lesson. I've tried to reveal what makes you think and makes you feel. So when you think you feel afraid, don't keep that feeling in the shade. Go take a walk in the sunshine with someone who loves you and talk about the thoughts that hide in your heart. Talk out those doubts that upset you and soon I'll let you most of your dark fears will disappear like so many raindrops. After the rain stops and life will be a lot more fun. Emotion. I fixed up this potion. Don't talk about it, talk it out. Walk in the sun. Take a walk, walk in the sunshine. Talk it out. We're one who loves you. Talk out. about the thoughts that hide in your heart. Talk out those doubts. When doubts upset you, soon pretty soon I'll bet you most of your dark fears will disappear. I guess there's only one more place for you to go. You mean there's more, Timer? Only if you're going home means there's more. Really, Timer? Really, Carol? Oh, Timer, it's been so much fun. I'm going to miss you. <sighs> Me too, Timer. And I'm going to <laughs> miss both of you so. Timer? Won't we ever see you again? And is there anything we can do for you? Oh, yes, there is. Always remember your old buddy, Timer. We will. And we'll always remember some of the things we learned about feelings on this trip. About being afraid of the dark. And about nightmares. And about being mad at people. And about being afraid. That's good, because it's important to remember that just like your body needs taken care of, so do the feelings that bother you. Trying to hide them or being ashamed to talk about them won't make them go away. Let people know how you feel. Talk about the things that bother you with someone you trust. It'll make you feel a lot better and make your life more fun. Goodbye, Larry. Goodbye, Carol. I hope we meet again someday. Me too, pal. Who knows? I might just pop out again someday. Take a real vacation. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye, Larry. <laughs> Little Red! Little Red! You'll never guess where we were! Just remember that the feelings that bother you need taking care of, too. 